Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode from Scrapyard Rescue. Uh, today, we finally got some beautiful weather. Um, it's around 50 degrees, clear blue sky. We're supposed to have this for three days before we get snow again. So, I'm trying to get some stuff done on the car. Um, I've been trying to get a video up for, oh man, like a month, but it's just just hasn't been working out. Uh, I started doing one when I uh, I changed the valve stem seals on the passenger side of the engine here like last week and it uh, I was videoing it and then when I went back later and checked the video it was all messed up I had there was no I didn't have enough light on the camera and all it was was just black uh, so that was like you know half the video so I just gave up on that and today what I'm doing is I got a bunch of goodies so I'm gonna go over all the goodies and show you what I got and kind of little things I'm doing working on the car so uh, but before we get started if you would you know do me a favor guys hit that subscribe button uh, I've been working on this channel now for over a couple of years and and I still haven't gotten to a thousand subscribers uh, I really need to hit that goal and then uh, you know hit the like button leave comments do all that stuff for me you know it really helps me out it'll it you know it'll get my channel to grow um, you know get it up far enough where um, YouTube will you know start promoting my videos a little bit instead of just leaving them off you know who knows where they are but anyways if you would please do that I'd really appreciate it and let's go ahead and I'll start walking you through some of the goodies I got so let's get started on that okay first thing I wanted to show you is I got uh, from a subscriber of mine that's out in Colorado uh, visits a junkyard out there quite a bit and he they had a 65 Fairlane sitting out there uh, some of you guys might have saw a Google post on it a while back it was an army vehicle and uh, they did some kind of a story on it on Google, but it was still sitting out there. So he was pulling parts off for me. Um, he got this, he got these pieces of trim off of it. So I've got that part of my problem solved. And then over here, we also got a, uh, he got me a fuel door, the correct fuel door that has the trim. Um, it was green, so I'm in the process of painting it uh, Painting it white to match the car now, so I got that and I got uh, He got me some really nice armrests that were still in that car I don't I can't believe that they were as nice as they are. I'm painting that one black to fit the other car But he got me two of these nice ones with the ashtray in it. Look at these things. They're They're not hardly worn at all um, so one of them, that one will be going fairly number two because the interior is going to be black in there and white. This one's going to go in uh, fairly number one here. So I'll be painting this one red. Um, and the other thing I got is I got some of this door seal here. Uh, I got this off of amazon it just come in today i was hoping that i could do my front door seals on this car with it but uh, it's it's too small it's it's it needs to be about double the size to fit the door seals on the uh on, on the front doors but it worked great on the back door um I mean, it's perfect. It's like it was made for the back door. So I got both the doors, the both the back doors here on this car done. Um, it looks pretty, looks pretty good, and it seals the doors. Uh, you get inside there and close the door, and you look out the cracks. You can't see any daylight. Uh, you see it on this one, and it's peel and stick. It's real easy to put on. Um, I don't know. It took me maybe a half hour to do both doors. 
And then another thing I got over here on fairly number two. Uh, on this car I got, I don't know if you can see it look well or not, but you see that trim piece along this uh, pillar here. Um, you can buy this stuff that's made for these fair lanes, the pinch weld. But the problem is with this car is they don't make black. Uh, so I had to get this. I found this on Amazon. Um, it's like 23 feet of it for seven bucks and it works. I got this one done and it, it looks really good. Uh, I don't know how good you can see it on the camera, but um, it looks nice. So when I get the carpet in and the uh, headliner up there, this is going to look nice. Um, and then, well, that's the one. It's I haven't got it on that one yet. But, so, I got that. And that's pretty much all I got on this car. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I've decided to... Uh, Oh, this is the this is the stuff I got for for the fairly number two to do the pillars with. It's um, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's just rubber, flexible, works good. Um, this stuff was twenty twenty some feet for uh, about I don't know thirteen, fourteen bucks or something wasn't very expensive um, but what else I'm gonna do today get started on it anyway is I want to get this uh, trunk if I can get the key in there I want to get this trunk finished up and get a so I can get a spare tire and everything in here and start carrying a spare tire around boy it's dirty from from driving up and down that road. That's what I'm trying to do is get this sealed up. Uh, and I got these holes where these fender extenders go. I got to get those fixed and cleaned up. But I'm, what I'm going to do today with this, I'm going to sound deaden it. I decided to sound deaden the trunk. Then I'm going to get one of those Butex, you know, uh, trunk liners that they make and set in here and back there behind the seat on that back in there you can see that I'm going to get a piece of uh, Home Depot's got these pieces of masonite they're two foot by four foot they're like seven bucks and they there's enough to do behind one of each one of the seats so I'm going to cut that out there's a lip there that goes all the way around that it'll fit right on I can either glue it or uh, you know put a couple screws or something in it to hold it in and then that should hold the dust from any dust from getting up in the car and it and it'll help quiet it down you know, once I get the trunk quieted down too. And I want to get my spare in here, the jack uh, stuff. So if I take this thing out on a trip, um, you know, I got, a, I got a spare tire if I need one. So I'm going to do that today, uh, which I'm going to get started on right now as soon as I sweep some of that dust out. And then uh, um, I'll get going on that and we'll just keep going here. Well, I got... Some sound deadening in. I guess I probably should have measured the trunk before I ordered stuff. So, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. It'll probably take, yeah, I'll need to get another box. Crap. But I don't have the trunk liner anyway, so that's all right. I'll just get another box ordered. This stuff comes off of Amazon, it's pretty cheap. Uh, and stuff but I wanted to show you this stuff on this uh, valve spring or valve seal um, if you're gonna do the valve stem seals without removing the head you need to get this tool right here uh, I got this off of Amazon this is the most expensive one they had I read the reviews on uh, the cheaper ones and everybody said they were just garbage don't buy them and then when I got to this one, the reviews were this thing worked. You just need to see these little tines here. 
they were they're bent a little bit too much this way and so when you push the valve spring down it pushes it like at a little angle and you can't get the seal or the, the keepers out very good so you got to kind of bash those in to fit your your thing but they work real good uh, i'm i was impressed with it you uh you just screw it you take your you know rockers and stuff off and then this screws down onto the stud all the way down and then you just flip this handle and you know you screw it down like this and then you get it onto the valve then you just push this handle down and uh, it just pushes the valve down uh, you can pop the keeper out and you're good to go um, you need to put air into the cylinder so what you got to do if you haven't done this is you got to roll the cylinder you're working on up till both the valves are are loose and then uh, you go ahead and you uh, pump air in down into the spark plug hole. I bought a little gizmo that they sold with that thing, but it didn't really work. I had to modify it anyway, so a guy can just make one. What I ended up doing was taking the end off of my uh, compression tester gauge that fit in the spark plug holes and then fitted that onto the tube and redid it, and then it, it worked all right. Uh, they, a lot of these guys tell you to go ahead and um, you're supposed to bring that cylinder up to top dead center, and then you have to lock the engine in place so when you pump the air in, it doesn't turn the engine over, which it will, because it did to me on a, the first couple cylinders until I said, "Well, this is stupid." Um, all you need to do is you get to just roll the thing over till both the lifters are loose. That means the valves are closed. That's all you need to worry about is that the valves closed. Then put the air in it, and then you could do it. And the engine doesn't roll over on you when you're working on it. Uh, the air doesn't leak out. It just it works fine that way. Um, I ended up having to do my side. I did one side, and of course I had to do it twice because uh, I didn't fit the I didn't fit the new seals down. Uh, the way they were supposed to be. Uh, I realized it at the very last cylinder, and then I went, oh, crap. Um, so, of course, I, I didn't do anything at that. I just went ahead and fired the engine up to see what would happen. And sure enough, the three first three cylinders, the seals popped loose right away. So the one seals I got, you slide, they're not like the original, just a rubber cup. Um, they're... Uh, blue rubber uh, they slide down over it and they have like a little uh, like a spring type clamp at the bottom and it's you get this steel down where where it starts over the uh, part of the head and then you got to take you take a deep well socket and slide down over the valve and then tap that valve seal down until it clips it down there's a notch down at the bottom down there and it'll it when you tap it down it goes down in there and then that spring clip holds it into that little groove and that worked fine it uh i've run it now two three times and nothing you know they're not they're not coming loose i don't get any smoke out of the back end anymore so i know they're working that way so that's with that um anyway yeah this Yes, I, obviously I should have ordered two. I thought I had a box when I ordered this. And then when I went in to look for it, of course, I don't have a box. So I could have ordered two boxes and had it. Um, I got my, uh, I got a new, one more of these that'll go over there on that side. Uh, my cool little valve, or <laughs> valve stem seals, door seals. These work great. They look nice on there too. Yeah, I like them. They look like they're almost supposed to be there. So, that works good. I wish it would have, I tried it here on this one on the front door and got it and closed the door. Hell, you could, you could, you know, still see out through there. It doesn't, um, they stick pretty good. I think once you get them on and bang the doors closed a few times, they, they should be good. So, anyways, that's what we did there. Oh, I got my LED, I don't know if on the last video I put the LED lights in on it, and then I didn't have any brake lights. Uh, I tracked it down, in the, and it just so happens that was the day that the um, uh, brake light switch decided to 
go out. So I bought a new one and put it in, and now I have the brake lights. So I've got LED stuff here on the back, which um, I like. It's, you know, it's a little safer, I think. So, uh, but yeah, it's going to be nice. And I just got to order that stuff. I think if I can get it double thick of what I got, it'll it'll work. So, anyway. Okay, guys, I guess that's all I can do for today. Um, I'm painting some of this stuff, so I got to, you know, wait for it to dry and that kind of kind of stuff. But anyways, I just wanted to get, uh, I know not much going on on this video. I wish I could have, uh, that video would have worked out doing the valve stem seals. You, know, you could have seen how this tool works. You get a big handle with this, too. But on my car, <coughs> you didn't. I didn't need it. I only got, there's only one valve spring on it. And it just it just pushed down real easy by hand, and then it locks too, which is nice. So you don't have to try to hold it or anything. You just push this down, it locks, and you just pop the keepers out, pull the spring out, stick your valve stem seal on, drop the spring on, whip the little doohickey back around, and push it down again, and it's done. Um, so it works good. So, anyways, let's go ahead and end the video with that. Uh, hopefully now, maybe the weather will start getting a little better. I can get that trunk finished. Um, I got to get the carpet in this car, but I'm going to wait a couple more months. I'm going to wait till like June or something um, and see what, see if the weather's really warm. They tell me you got to really let those things bake in the sun for several hours to get them soft and so they lay in the car. And I don't, I put the Pinto in. And I got to tell you, it took me seven hours to put the carpet in the Pinto. Uh, I almost had a freaking stroke over that thing. So I don't want to go through that again. And, you know, I took the seats out, everything, and it just, oh, my God, it was just, it was just horrible. And one thing is I don't think the carpet kit was very good either. But these are supposed to be molded, you know, exact factory design cut and all that kind of stuff. So, uh We'll get that in, and you know, that's about it. So anyways, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Like I said in the beginning, please subscribe to my uh, channel. I really need you guys that, you know, 85% of the uh, the people watching the videos or at least clicking on them aren't subscribers, you know. So if I could get even half of those, you guys, to go ahead and subscribe, that would really help. I only need about... 35 more subscribers to hit my thousand mark so i sh you should i should get it on this video come on guys i know there's 35 of you out there just hit just just smash that button give me a thumbs up leave comments you know um like i've said before in videos i don't care if you tell me i'm stupid you know um you know a lot of the stuff i do is stupid so um you know go ahead uh tell me what you think um any of you guys that have done the carpet there's three or four companies out there that are selling carpet. If you've done carpet, you know, leave a comment. T you know, tell me which brand you use so so I can kind of get a feel for it instead of having to order it and then find out it's no good and I don't like it and that kind of stuff. You know, if you guys help me out and say, hey, we got it from this company and another guy says the same company, another guy says the same company, well, then that's the company I'll order it from. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and leave it at that. I will see you guys uh, hopefully soon. Uh, try to get more videos out now that the weather's finally breaking. And we're just kind of going to go from there. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.